Hey guys, can you believe it? We're already at the last week of the 5 Minute Flower Challenge. We've been so blown away by your creativity and your commitment to bringing a little bit of beauty into your home every week. Now last week was all about spoiling yourself and making something beautiful just for you to enjoy. This week we're thinking about sharing and caring. And one of my favourite things to do is have friends or family over for a meal. And having flowers on your table takes an everyday moment into something really memorable and special. Now this week you're going to put what you've learned over the last five weeks to the test. And our challenge to you is to invite some friends or family over for dinner or maybe even a lazy long weekend brunch. We're challenging you to make that little extra effort to make it a celebration. Now dressing up a table doesn't mean that it has to be formal or that you need to follow tradition. I've had a look around the house and I've got this interesting collection of candle holders, old vintage jugs and glasses. Don't feel like you need to use a proper tablecloth or a table runner. I don't even actually own a table runner, but for this place setting, I'm going to use this beautiful African fabric a friend of mine picked up while she was travelling. Now, maybe doing a pretty casual table setting before. So rather than running the fabric down the length of the table, I'm actually going to run two panels across to create a bit of interaction between both sides of the table. We're keeping it pretty simple. Just a plate and a side plate, knife and a fork, and a spoon. We'll add a glass, and if you'll be having wine, a wine glass as well. So this isn't too down to Abby. We're not really fussed about perfection, but you do want to keep things as balanced and evenly spaced as possible so that it feels really comfortable when you're sitting down to have dinner. So that's all the dinnerware and cutlery. Now comes the fun part. We're going to start adding items to our table to give it some personality and then finish off with some flowers. We want to stick to having those tallest pieces in the middle and then tapering off as we go to the edges. So that provides a really nice symmetry and balance to the setting. So the colour theme we've got going here are all these really nice rich purples and browns and neutrals with a bit of a hint of metallics from these really fun old cutlery and some of our decorative items. Now on its own it already looks really good but you really need that splash of botanicals, flowers or foliage or even other items like fruit or vegetables to really bring life to the table setting. To start off I've got these couple of little knives to add a little pop of green to the tablescape and this adorable little succulent which I'll add to as well. I picked up this fun little bouquet of Australian natives at the supermarket. We've got a handful of proteas and glucodendrons in there. To accentuate the purple I've also picked up this fun bright purple orchid to supplement my first moustache. These really sweet little bright yellow billy balls. I've also got this dried banksia that I've had lying around. And if you don't have any of these dried botanicals, you can also forage in the neighborhood, like we did in week three. So to start, I'm gonna keep things really simple and lay some of these beautiful dried banksias along the length of the table. You can already see how much texture that adds to the tablescape. Now it's time to add our fresh flowers and I'm going to use a couple of these little vessels to pop some flowers in. Because these vanda orchids come with their own little vial of water at the bottom, they also last a really long time out of natural bars, so you can pop those alongside your branches or dried botanicals for a pop of colour. Now we'll keep our actual flower arrangements on the table nice and short. We don't want to stop conversation from happening. We don't want anyone to be hiding behind flowers. So I'm just going to add a couple of super duper short little natives. And just scatter them around the table. With any leftovers, you can just lay them directly on the table for a little bit of extra interest. So 
for our fun pop of colour, we're just going to add in our little yellow billy balls. Just a few here and there, scattered across the table. Now we're just going to finish off our place setting with a little flourish on the napkin. There are so many different ways to fold a napkin, but we're going to keep it really simple just by folding one edge over the other, tucking the edges underneath to create a little pocket that we can slide a couple of flowers or leaves into. Because we've got a couple of these little yellow billy buttons left, we're just going to measure up Snip off the ends and it's as simple as popping them into your napkin like that. And for a really sweet little touch to finish off our place setting. You could even personalise each guest's place setting with a different type of leaf or flower for a fun personal touch. I don't know about you but I think we are ready for an epic feast. There's nothing more joyful than creating a beautiful space for your friends, your family to relax, celebrate and enjoy. Hopefully you've used everything that you've learnt over the last five weeks from foraging for greenery, creating really simple bud vases to even more complex arrangements and of course choosing the flowers that you love the most. We would love to see what you get up to with this week's challenge. So that's it. I hope you loved being part of the 5 Minute Flower Challenge as much as we, myself, Mel and Gwen have enjoyed bringing it to you. Now, don't be sad because it's not the end. This is only the very beginning of the Bloom Box Co-Adventure. And we want to know what you think. Have you enjoyed being part of this 5 week challenge? And what do you want to see next? Don't forget to jump into the Flower Squad Facebook group to keep the conversation going and to share, hopefully, your creative dinner party. Thanks and we'll see you in the group.